Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we're going to keep talking about painting with the lasso tool. But before we get to the paint by numbers that we made in the last video, let's just talk about the basic bread and butter of selections with the lasso tool. So on a new layer, I'm going to start by using the lasso tool and just drawing a shape. Now when I select the brush tool and change to a color, you can see all my strokes go inside the lines. Very straightforward. So that is the most basic maneuver. Now, the next thing you might want to know is that when drawing a line, you can draw a portion of a shape, not connect it back to itself, and then let go, and it will draw a straight line to the beginning. This is actually more useful than you'd expect. It's a way to quickly get a straight line. So this might make sort of a mountain look, and you could definitely use that to your advantage. So you could draw some sort of mountain range, and then let go here, and then it's going to make a pretty straight line there. Now it's not completely straight, so what if I wanted to make this selection actually sort of rotate a little bit? So the way you do that is Control T, but with the addition of Shift. So Shift Control T allows you to transform your selection. And then I can confirm that, and now I have the nice mountain range shape. Okay, so we have two useful things so far. We know how to make a straight line at the bottom, and we know how to transform the selection before we start painting in it. The next thing I might want to do is to make my selection, but then go to View Extras. And what that does is it just hides the selection. It's actually still there. So here when I paint, you can see it still goes inside those lines. The only difference is it doesn't have the marching ants on screen. If I were to make a new layer, pick a different color, I still have the selection. Until I deselect or make a different selection, like over here, it's going to retain that selection even when it's hidden. So one nice thing to do is to have a keyboard shortcut, which is Control H or Command H on a Mac, that'll just take that selection you've made and then hide it away. All right, the next thing you might want to know is how to do the opposite of a selection. So I make my shape here, I paint in it, and then I decide, you know what, I actually want to paint everywhere else. So to do that, you invert the selection, which is Control shift i I have it bound to a keyboard shortcut, so I can just quickly invert the selection, choose a different color here, and then I can paint everywhere but that initial shape. Now we are going to talk about how you can make additive selections. So we've made our one mountain shape, and then maybe we decide we also want a few more peaks. Well, just like in other areas of Photoshop, if you hold down the Shift key and draw, you will do an additive selection. So I can keep doing that. I could do rocks and rocks and rocks. And then I could switch to some sort of brush, go to my mountain color, paint it in. They might be disconnected, but they are a single selection. So if this is the ground, maybe what I want to do is to paint water around it. So as you've seen, a quick way would be to invert the selection. And then I can paint with a different color. So maybe I'll paint with sort of a watercolor here. Now, clearly, this is not beautiful, but it gets across the point of just how quickly you can lay in pigment. All right, so let's talk about a few more operations you can do with the lasso tool. Now we want to subtract a shape. So the way we do that is we hold down Alt and then draw. So maybe I can add with shift and then using alt I'll kind of cut some slices out here. And then when I paint in that here's the result. One use for that might be you have a, a river going off into the distance that kind of looks like this. So there's your river but when you look towards the river there are some things blocking it maybe trees are coming up, or rocks on the riverbank. So here I'm subtracting from the selection. And if I wanted to maybe add on the other side, I could hold down the shift key, and then I could add to the selection. And now when I paint in it, you'll see I get a pretty pleasing shape. The most important thing is it is very quick. Here I can really quickly sketch out some shapes. 
and then fill them. And it feels more like painting than any of those other ways to get quick masks. Because masks are nice, but the downfall is they're slow and they don't really feel like painting. So sometimes when you're painting organically and you decide what you actually want is a hard edge, I'll just switch to the lasso tool, draw a couple quick hard edges in there, maybe subtract away a few bits, holding down the Alt key, and then paint. These commands might seem basic, but believe me, once you memorize them and they become muscle memory, they make the lasso tool so much more powerful. So stay tuned for the next video in which we actually make a painting, and until then, have fun with that lasso. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.